learning to be me. I get to be me now. After years of suppressing that person, but we're onto a new chapter and you're welcome to come along. Oh yes. It's another movie by yours truly. And that there's Ricky the cat. That's where we slept during the eclipse. So introducing myself as Cat Woodland and making this video nice and slow. No rush. Just nice and slow. You with me? So this cat, seriously told me where these treats were. I, I put them up into the different cabinet and he's, he said, hey man, first he asked for these and we had these. This is not a pod, I plug, but this is actually truth, okay? But I accept sponsorships <laughs> as long as I get to say what I want. But anyway, that would never happen, which is why I'm like, um, being just honest with you. You can't eat too many temptations. No, 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 no. Like, you can learn a lot about life as they name cat treats. So, too many temptations, you are just going to be this kind of cat. Goofy. I mean, look how goofy that cat is. Look at that face. <laughs> Under two calories per tree. I wonder what that is, uh in people calories. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. Chicken byproduct, ground corn. Okay, so that's where they GMO them. <laughs> that's, that's the second ingredient. And then they give all these vitamins and stuff. Natural flavors to your cat. Would you eat those? Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to, uh, find out more about this but it says you can give them 10 to 12 per 10 pounds of body weight if that is the main meal feed, you can actually do it in cupfuls oh my goodness all right well the cat's already been ruined I'm quite certain he's looking for treats that's the butler but these treats, the God Daddy, they are wonderful. They're for royal kitties. <laughs> and this cat is wearing a tuxedo. This is Simon, the tuxedo cat. The tuxedo cat. He loves to be acknowledged and loved too. That's what I noticed about... Um, my relationships with the men, they actually did not, they landed on you. <laughs> the cat was chasing, the cat was chasing a, a bunny, a dust bunny. There it is, Simon, there it is. <laughs> oh my God, I got it for him. Oh, who, who? Who let the cat in the bag? The cat did. See that? Take time out to play, folks. Be chill. So this is Simon. He stays indoors. And he's a wonderful cat because he'll follow you around, tell you where the treats are. <laughs> and when he feels like it, he makes you feel he makes you feel special because he wants to be pet by you. But most of the time, he just wants to boss the inside of the house and do what he wants, <laughs> which, is, which is being a pleasure seeker. But he learned not to have too many temptations. Where are you going now, big guy? 
Ricky showed us his world. What's yours? All cats need to scratch. So scratch that itch, but don't be like one yourself. Don't go for temptations and look like a goofmeister. Maintain the disposition of a feline that's proud, that's loyal, that sticks with the pack, that strengthens in numbers. The royal canine. And look at that fit gold kitty. Gold. That's what I'm talking about, people. You are royal. You have a crown, and that crown is exalting you because at the very same time about what's happening in that outward outward world, we have this. Woo! This is Simon. Oh, time to go out and see the cat. <laughs> Cats, they just know how to chill. They drink when they're thirsty. They stop and preen, do a little maintenance. I'm learning the zen of uh, being a cat, since it's my name and all that, just to learn how to back off sometimes of rush, 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 and be more like this kitty. Going, hey. Come on out. My world is your world. So let's go to the backyard, shall we? So he chases bugs. There's a fly in there. <laughs> These are my Levi's. They're the kind of jeans that they're still made out of a lot of cotton. And so that way when you um, actually wash them, they're tight for that one day. And then after that, you have to wash them again. Hey, all right, let's go down. Hi, Ricky. messing with you, Ricky. It looks good on you. Just a piece of something, a piece of something, one of these, that was it.
This is Ricky's backyard. I'm getting the tour. I get to slow down. That's one of the things that I recognized about my life um, growing up. Rush, 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 rush. Your father is so slow. You're so slow. Rush, rush, rush. Whatever it suited her. Meanwhile, the mother who raised me, if you can call her a mother, with her love dished out like she made cookies whenever she felt like it. <laughs> Always in a hurry and then holding us all up to her standard. If you weren't like her, there was something wrong with you. The inherent flaw, the birth of the trauma is the wrongness of the rightness of you. And so at the heart of the self-healing is to actually acknowledge that when you were very young, you were made wrong just for being yourself. It's explicitly when you're told your entire life supposed to hurry up. So, New chapter, folks, new chapter. And it's that um, I now have come to the recognition that my life is moving on to the next chapter. So I'm a writer of my own life, as they say, or script. And I am finishing off this one section of my life in which I went down a long corridor. I went down a long corridor until I found myself. And that's who I'm getting to know, myself. I'm holding myself near and dear, gathering up all those pieces Bringing back to myself the shadow self that was denied. And yet at the same time, my heart is always open and there's always a smile upon my inner face. For always I have known that my life is guided by God. I aligned my spine with the divine to feel fine I have that mantra that came to me and that's the one I use, align my spine with the divine to feel fine. The paintings that I have that I refer to a lot, they're in many of my videos. When I painted them, I think that was 2017, 2016, who knows? It was at a time when I was feeling such joy and I was painting portals of infinity to my own divinity. And so I raise a cup of your choice to the acknowledgement of yourself. Acknowledge that you are here. You chose to be here, whether you're conscious of it or not. And you are divine and divinely connected, whether you're conscious of it or not. And it's time to acknowledge that for yourself because you were never acknowledged as a child and you never will be outside authority is not your business. 
As Byron Katie says, who is a purported walk-in, there's only three kinds of business. Your business, my business, and God's business, to which I add my little patented saying, oh yeah, there's two more. There's monkey business, for sure, and there's show business. And sometimes it's hard to tell the two apart. <laughs> but monkey business is actually without... Um, I'm not going to judge. It doesn't have... Monkey business is monkey business. Monkey business. <laughs> there's show business. There's monkey business. There's your business. There's my business. And there's God's business. And the deal is, we are part of God. We are God's spark. We are essentially consciousnesses inhabiting bodies, having a human experience. However, we actually are part of God, part of creation, part of the very beginning of that which we are everlasting. Always have been, always will be, was there at the beginning, will never end. That is you. That is me. I am that, and I know that for a fact, because I experienced it. And after that, I divorced my husband and signed some crazy paperwork. Heightened spiritual experience says, let go. And so I have. To the original intention of my blueprint, I align my spine with the divine I give up what would be considered a secure marriage for the truth of my being. And only you know what that is. Only I know what that is. And copying me would be monkey business. Do your life, not mine. I am an example. I am telling you what it feels like. I'm telling you what it is based on my experience. Your own inner authority determines for you what is yours. <sighs> so, you decide, you decide. It's your life. It's your choice, man. This really is a free will universe. Don't let anybody think that you're not actually in control of your will. You are. You can exercise, exercise your will, which means get your will outside of the matrix. You exercise your will. You don't take any pill. You don't take the red. You don't take the, the blue. 
You don't hit the black. You don't take any pill at all. You get yourself your own pair of shoes, man.